Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see about one the very important and useful option in Excel. That is a wheel lookup, the vertical lookup. So here the wheel lookup means, so looking up for the value based upon the given constraint, right? So here, for example, I have taken some marks of different students. I have taken just 20 students. So the name of the students, Telugu, English, Math, Science and Social marks have been given here. And if you need to find the corresponding marks of that particular students based upon the roll number, you need not search all these 20 students. So if it is 20 students or 30 students, it would be very easy. So within two minutes, you can find all the marks. So if there are number of students, that means if there are number of data, large amount of data, then it is not possible uh, to find the particular values in a, a short time period, right? So it may take much time. So for that purpose, you can go with this lookup option. So directly, if you pass one column number, one column name, uh, then immediately the corresponding columns will be retrieved. So that we will see. So first of all, I will write the uh, column names. So I will give some uh, roll number name of student and Telugu marks, English marks, maths, science and social, right. So here based upon the roll number, I need to get all the below information, right. So if there are some 100 and, 100 and uh, 200 students, uh, it is not possible to find the marks of particular student within a short period, right? So for that purpose, we are going to this one. So I have to give the input as a roll number so that I need to get the data of all the particulars of that particular roll number. So for this purpose, we are have we have to use the VLOOKUP formula, VLOOKUP, vertical lookup, right? So start from here. So this is the input, input cell. So here you need to give the roll number which you need to get the data right the column the column uh, the data of the column which you need to retrieve right next so here we need to write the formula v lookup and first first parameter mainly it, give, it takes the four parameters the first parameter is the column which you are giving the input so this is the column so i'm just giving the column name so here you, you can observe l2 so here l and it is 2 so this is the input column. Next, input cell. Next, we need to give the range of cells need to be searched. So I have to search from this one, A2 to this one, right? So A2 to G21, you can observe here. So first one is the input. Second one is the range where we need to find the input. And the third one is the column. So which column? the data will be so you can observe here the name of the student is the second column so first column is roll number second column is the name of the student so here you just pass the column number column number right next the fourth one is the boolean that is either true or false so if it is true it just go with the approximate match and if it is false it will go with the exact match so always go with the exact match so we can represent true as 1 and false as 0. I will go with a 0 for the exact match. Right? Enter. So you can observe here not applicable because here we have not given any value. So now I will give the roll number. So I will give the roll number of 109. So I will give 109 and press enter. You can observe the name of the student is Dinesh. So you can observe here the 109109 roll number we are having the name Dinesh. So like this, we need not find for uh, for the data, right? So we can directly pass one column. So automatically we can retrieve the remaining columns of that particular row, right? Similarly, just copy the one and here uh, we'll, we'll again type the same formula for this one for getting the Telugu marks. We look up 
and go with the input so this is the input same is the input and what is the range the same range a2 to g21 and the third parameter is the next column so telugu is a third column so third column marks to be displayed here and exact match zero so you can get 84 so you can observe 109 roll number the name is dinesh and 84 is retrieved here and similarly you can go with the remaining things we look up so first we'll go with this one and the next range so i will just give the range and the next one is a fourth row so for getting the english marks and the exact match and again similar we look up and go with the same one the input value the range where we need to find the data and fifth right there's a fifth max is in the fifth column right fifth and go with the zero exact match next we look up and take the input give the range from here to here and sixth column right zero i mean one two three four five and six science is sixth column six and exact match and again use the same formula to get the details of the social so give the input as a roll number and give the range from where it should retrieve the data and the seventh column and then exact match so now you can observe here You can observe here i am giving the roll number and i am getting the details so if if you don't want to i mean if you want to change one some other uh, roll number i want to check the details of roll number 120 i will go over here with the 120 and press enter so that the 120 details will be getting here okay so 120 roll number the name is bargo and the marks are 72 78 86 64 and 72 you can observe here 120 bargo 72 78 86 uh, 64 and 72 and also if you change the roll number we will get the corresponding details 115 it's a krishna 125 65 50 55 so these are the data so like this it, it will make very easy for the people to search for the particular data in a large rows if the data is having a large amount of rows then it would be very easy to retrieve the data of that particular rows so you can pass one roll number and you can get the corresponding details the details of all the uh, particulars of uh, that particular uh, roll number and one more thing if you want to have a multiple search so that means so here i will give you one more thing so first i will go with the see here i will write it so roll number and i need to give the subject and then i need to get the marks so here the input is two cells one is a roll number and the subject so i need to give the roll number 103 and a subject max so i need to get the marks of mathematics for the student with the roll number 103 so here in such cases we need to give the input for two cells so here we need to change a small formula so same we look up and give the input so roll number roll number and the data range from where you need to copy and the third parameter in vlook is the column name right the column name the column number so here we need to give the column number with respect to this cell because we are giving the column name as also an input so th for that purpose use the this formula match use this one and where we have to find the match is from this place to this place and exact match we need exact match right zero so this will give the marks so for example go with the 102 so 102 and i need the marks of a subject mathematics for the student who is having the roll number 102 automatically we will get the result 75 so you can observe here 102 some saradi and a marks of a mathematics is a 75 right so hope you understood this one we look up so once again i will explain this one second one so here actually in the we look up we are taking the four arguments the first one is the input the second one is the range where we need to find and the third argument is the column number okay column number starting from one 
and the fourth parameter is the exact match matching right the same thing we'll apply here so but here the difference is here we are passing two inputs so based upon these two inputs we need to get the result so i'm taking the formula for this one so we look up the first one is the input that is the roll number and the second one is the range from this range it, we have to find it and for the third one we are giving some subject right we are giving some subject so the subject means you can find here the columns so there we need to give the formula match so you know instead of giving the value we are using the match function so match give the input for this one that is this cell that is l12 l12 and find the range of this one so what are the match uh, the labels here the column names so this is the range that means a12 g1 and exact match i need an exact match so zero comma and the fourth parameter for the loop lookup is directly it's a pattern matching so zero is exact match and one is a appropriate match approximation match so like this we can also find the details and if you give some 112 and a max you'll get a 64 I, I just want to get the marks of signs i get a 87 so 112 and signs we can find here 112 wasu having the marks for signs it's an 87 so we'll get 87 so this is how we can apply the v lookup that is a vertical lookup vertical lookup and once again see here uh, if you are not giving any value or so if you give some out of range 121 roll number but you are not having this 121 roll number so you will be getting the error called n by a right so in order to avoid this one in order to avoid this one so just use if n a if n a we look up if it is successful automatically we will get the value otherwise we have to give the data which we know we need to display so i will give not found not found so if you observe if you observe if i give the roll number which are which is not available in our list i will give some 130 so instead of getting n by error i am getting the data which i have mentioned so here also you can go with this one so if n a if n a comma use the same thing not found so if the data is not available we'll get the data which we have we are giving here if n a function if n a not found right so like this we can apply the v lookup we can make the search easier so simply we can say this is a search okay so in, uh, instead of searching all the rows so we can directly go with this v lookup so that it will make the user very easy to find the uh, required data right see yes so for all the cells i have given the if na function so that if i am giving any uh, not valid data automatically we'll get the details like not found so i am giving here 110 then i will get the data 110 is the name harish 83 98 81 63 and 79 you can find here so similar to our uh, results so in the, if you are finding the results we are we are supposed to give the roll number automatically we'll get the tabular format of the result so the back end process is similar it will apply the lookup formula so directly we'll give the roll number automatically it will look up for the 110 and it will retrieve all the details of the student and it will form a table so telugu 83 98 81 63 and 79 and if you are giving the beyond the data we'll get the result as not found so because one we are having the data only from 101 to 120 but we are retrieving the data from 125 roll number which is not available so i, am, I have given uh, to display not found so automatically if it is not found we'll get the given data and this is the thing so here we are giving two inputs and based upon those inputs we are getting the result this is a multiple inputs and this is a single input right 
so hope you understood the session so let's stop here and uh, if you really enjoyed my session like my session and if you are having any doubts regarding this v lookup feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much